Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial for this look. This is, for me, this is like a holiday look. You can always change out the lip color. Um, also today, I'm gonna be using the new lip kit by Kylie in the color True Brown K. So let's go ahead and get started. So I already prepped my skin with a primer. I mixed the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer with the hydrating one from Makeup Forever because my skin is so dry right now. So I already prepped it and put on a little bit of concealer just to throw it out there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and prep my eyelids. And today and every other day, I will be using the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extend Eye Base, which has become my new favorite eyeshadow primer. And then I do set it with some translucent powder. Today I just used the one from Laura Mercier that I used under my eyes. And for my look today, I'm gonna be using the new Tartlet In Bloom palette, which is gorgeous. It has a bunch of really pretty shades in here. I'm gonna start off with Smarty Pants and this is a Smith 230 brush. I'm just gonna lightly apply that into the upper crease area and bring it in towards the bridge of the nose and then also towards the outer V of the eye. So bringing this shadow up a little bit closer to the brow and into the bridge of the nose will actually make your lids or your eyeballs look larger once we're done. Just throwing that out there. And then to buff everything out, I'm gonna take this Delium brush. This is number 776 and it has no eyeshadow on it. I'm just gonna lightly buff out the Smarty Pants color just to blend it in a little bit better. And here I'm taking Jet Setter from the palette and this is a Smith 247 brush. Really similar to a MAC 217, just a little bit smaller. It will help to get in the tighter area. I'm gonna lightly trace over that first color that we added and just make it a little bit deeper and a little bit stronger. And here while I'm looking down, you can kind of see the shape that I'm making and bringing it towards the center of the nose. You can also see how it's starting to make our eyes look a little bit larger towards the inner corner. Next. I'm taking the shade Activist, which is a really pretty deep brown. And this is a Makeup Geek Defined Crease Brush, which is an amazing brush. It's super, super nice and really great for blending. And I'm gonna be adding the Activist color to the highest point of my eyeshadow. So the very, very top layer and kind of buffing it downward. And then once I'm done with that, I just like to buff it out a little bit more with that Delium brush. You can always come back in with some other colors too if you wanna buff it out a little bit more and make it softer. And now we're gonna add the lid color. So I'm taking a MAC 239 brush and just adding a little bit more of that 24 hour extend eye base to my lid so that way it's nice and fresh for when we add this ColourPop shadow, which is called Famous, one of their new shades, which I'm obsessed with. I'm just gonna be packing it on the lid with the same MAC 239 brush. I just kind of flipped it over so that way it's the clean side. And we're gonna be adding it all over the lid, bringing it way into the inner corner of the eye and just kind of tracing a nice little swoopy shape on the lid. Oh, and I wanna start including my nail polish colors in my videos. So the one I'm wearing today is a hologram one. This is the one from KB Shimmer. This is the color Young Thing. So now I'm gonna jump to my winged eyeliner. Today I'm using my old ass Inglot liner number 77, which is black. And I just showed you, I just put a drop of Duraline in there to kind of revive it a little bit. And this is a MAC 263 brush, which is not my favorite to do winged eyeliner. It's a little bit long for my taste. But anyway, I'm just gonna be adding a nice, sharp, semi-thin wing onto the lid, just because I really want the gold to be very prominent and stand out. So I'm just gonna be adding a nice wing with that Inglot gel liner. And then once we're done with that, I'm just gonna add some mascara. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. All right, we're pretty much done with the eyes, so I'm gonna jump onto complexion. And today, like all days, I'm using the Makeup Forever HD Foundation in the shade number 125 and buffing it into the skin using a damp beauty blender. And then to highlight, I'm gonna be using the NARS Custard Concealer. And I really went in with concealer on my under eyes today. I did use the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye just because they just look, I don't know, they look really dark lately. So I just went in with concealer today. So I'm layering on that NARS one on top of it. That's right, I'm going in. And then I just buff it out with a damp, the same damp beauty blender. Set my under eyes today, I'm actually gonna go back with my Ben Nye Cameo Powder, which I know I haven't used in a while. I don't know, sometimes I just like to switch it up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to all the areas that I use the NARS concealer.
Here I'm adding a cream highlighter. This one is from Benefit and it's called What's Up. And I just use my middle finger and just lightly tap it onto the very highest points of my cheekbones. And then I'm setting it with the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Highlighter. Then to set the rest of my face, because I don't like having just foundation, I gotta set it. I'm using the MAC Select Sheer Press Powder in the shade NC30 and a Real Techniques Duo Fiber Ace Brush, which is my favorite way to set my face. All right, now for bronzer today, I'm going in with the Galactic Cabo Bronzer, which I've kind of been going back and forth with. This one's just a little bit softer than the MAC Give Me Sun, so you know you won't be getting that bronzer helmet. It takes a lot more work to get the bronzer helmet on my skin tone than if I use the Give Me Sun one. That one's really strong, so I want something a little bit softer. And then for lashes today, obviously I'm using my Queen Bee lashes and I did steal one of Desi's House of Lashes Glue, which has actually been working out really well for me. I love it. The duo has been playing me lately, so I switched it up. And then I just like to set my lash line with a little bit of black eyeshadow so it's not shiny. And then I wanted to go back in and add some more brow, make it a lot stronger than what it was before I started. So I'm adding some medium brown brow powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills, just to make them look a little bit stronger. So that way it frames up my face a little bit better and kind of goes with the more intense eyeshadow. And I really want my brows to be more defined today than what I normally do. So I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Boeing Industrial Strength Concealer. And this is in the shade number one. And just a flat concealer brush to kind of clean it up and make them look a little bit more fierce. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna dip into my Life palette to get some blush. This is Infatuation from Makeup Geek, which is a perfect holiday blush to have. So I just apply a little bit of that to the apples of my cheekbones and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit more highlight down the center of the nose. And can you believe this? I actually took the eyeshadow brush that I used for Jet Setter and I used that brush to add a little contour to the center of my nose. I was feeling really bold today. I just did it. I kind of just extended my eyeshadow down a little bit right in the center and then I came back in with my Morphe brush and just buffed out a little bit more contour shade. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of brightness to my highlight zone using the Ofra Cosmetics Banana Setting Powder, which I have been using every single day lately. I'm loving it. And here I'm just finishing up my lower lash line by adding some of the Jet Setter shadow and then a little bit of Activist on top of it. And I'm gonna leave my waterline nude today. I don't wanna do like a nude one cause that one stands out a lot more. I'm just gonna leave it naked, I guess you could say. So I'm just gonna add some mascara and then we are all done with the eyes. I did decide to add a little bit of contour to the cheekbone. I'm just using some of the Galactic bronzer to contour my cheekbone a little bit. And then for the lipstick today, obviously I'm gonna be using my Kylie lip kit that I got when I went to the launch event at the Dash store last week. So I'm using the color True Brown K, which is a really rich, deep chocolate brown shade. So I'm gonna start with the liner, which is very similar to a ColourPop liner that it feels kind of like a crayon. I prefer to use pencils. They're a little bit easier for me to work with. I feel like I kind of slip up when I use the crayon one. And then I'm going to to add the liquid lipstick which is a deep chocolate rich brown with more of a neutral undertone as opposed to red so that's how it's different from limbo from ColourPop. a lot of people are asking for comparisons the Kylie true brown color is a little bit deeper and more neutral and actually chocolatey whereas the limbo one is a little bit more red and the formula is definitely different anyway that wraps up this makeup tutorial um, don't forget you guys could always switch out this lip and do like a bright red lip or a deep red lip and totally make it like a holiday look so anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching. Hey, hey. <laughs>